Light in the Piazza for me was one of those things that I kind of look back and say it must have been meant to happen. I played Clara, who was 26 years old, from North Carolina, and it was the 1950s. She was very protected. She was um, injured as a child, somewhere in the 10 to 12 area, kicked in the head by a horse at a birthday party, her own birthday party, and the doctor said she would never be the same. Um, by the time she was 26, you see a woman of 26 but you don't necessarily uh, get that age in her mind. It, when she opens her mouth, things seem okay. She seems more, uh, more of a teenager until something wrong happens and she can't control those emotions. She doesn't know how to deal with things. So therefore her mother has protected her her whole life. She's going through some difficult times with her own marriage and so she's a little bitter about love. They're on holiday in Italy. She sees a boy. Now if you can imagine a, a woman of 26 who's never been allowed to explore just because she had an injury doesn't mean that she she doesn't have a body and the natural impulses that, that, that all of us have and she sees a boy and she's madly in love with him and he's madly in love with her it's love at first sight the mother is so fearful that she doesn't want to let anything happen she doesn't want her daughter to get hurt she doesn't want the family of the Italian boy to to find out because of the language barrier they don't know that something's wrong with her they just think she's sweet some circumstances happen where they see certain sides of her that are scary. She gets lost. She can't find her way home. She becomes jealous. Things happen to her that she doesn't know how to control. They, they find out that she's 26. They, they have a problem with how old she is. The mother thinks the problem is that, that uh, they realize that she's not right. Their problem is her age. So it's very simple. It's very silly. And when they realize that everything's okay, the mother realizes that she says the words, love and be loved if you can and she wants her daughter to have that. We see her stepping aside from her own doubts about what could happen and saying, I'm gonna find positivity, I'm gonna find joy in this situation and I want it for my daughter. There's a great deal of hope, I think, that comes from this love story, which is to say, through diversity, through all of this, we can still, we can still make it work. We can come together because we love and that's very powerful.